さあ皆様こんばんはこれより日本ゲーム大賞2021年間作品部門の受賞作品を生放送で発表させていただきます私は放送は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私
MC. And uh, speaking of uh, Japan Games Award, we cannot forget uh, Hikaru Ijuin san. So we will have two MCs here. Ijuin san, over to you. Thank you for your introduction. And let's have a good session. Now, Tokyo Games Show 2021, followed by last year, is held online. So thank you very much for coming. Well, in light of COVID-19, as you know, a lot of events have been canceled and we're in a lot season. But I'm very happy to be able to have the show online. And we will start this program at 6 p.m. today. We hope to see a lot of audience to participate and enjoy the excitement of the announcement. And last year, we spent over two days to announce the awarded titles. But for this year, we are going to pack everything in today's program. So I have, I'm very nervous. I'm more nervous than last year. All right, so let me introduce briefly Games of the Year for Japan Games. Games Award. Japan Games Award Games of the Year started in 1996, and this year marks its 25th anniversary. For a selection, titles that were released between April 1st last year to March 31st this year are in scope, and public voting was conducted. 1,229 titles were selected through the public voting, and the selection committee reviewed those titles and decided awarded the titles. So again, last year, we spent over two days for announcement, but this today, uh, we're going to announce everything. We're going to announce in order, starting with uh, the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award, followed by Global Award, Best Sales Award, Game Designers Award, Award for Excellence, and lastly, the Grand Award. Which titles are going to be awarded? Please stay tuned. So let's look at the guests who are going to make this session even more fun. The first one is the representative of Amitsu Group, Katsuhiko Hayashi. My name is Hayashi. Thank you for having me. So recently, I've been able to make make it to the deadline, so I can look into your eyes while I talk, talk to you. And the next guest is the chief editor of Dengeki Game Media, Nishioka-san. Thank you for coming. Game information. I really want to hear a lot of things from you, so I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. Thank you. So with those guests, we would like to kick off the announcement. So now is the time for the excitement. We start with the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award. Japan Game Awards 2021, the first award to be announced is the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award, which give, which is which is given to people who contributed to the growth of Japan's game industry and expanded the horizon of the industry. Ijui-san, please. Okay, now I'm going to announce the result. Japan Game Awards 2021, the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award is given to Ko Shibusawa. Congratulations. So, Ko Shibusawa is a general producer of a Koei a Koei Tecmo game, so we have received a video letter for him, from him. Hello, everyone. My name is Ko Shibisawa, general producer of Koei Tecmo Games. Thank you for giving me the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award. I'm very honored. This year marks the 40th anniversary of my career as a creator. In October 1981, I launched my first game, Kawaji. 
Kawanakajima no Kassen, followed by Nobunaga's ambition, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, a winning post, Kessen, and the Nyo, and many other titles I created. I have been able to engage in game creation thanks to the fans who played my games. I ex express my appreciation. And I also want to thank Koinuma-san and Hayashi-san and other stakeholders in and outside of the company, as well as people engaged in marketing and the logistics, everyone who supported games. As general producer, thank you so much. Over the past 40 years, the environment surrounding games changed dramatically. With the advancement of technology, we creators can express more, and interesting titles came out one after another. I would like to continue my efforts so that I can also keep up with young people and deliver interesting games to my fans. Thank you again. Congratulations. The Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award went to Ko Shibusawa. So it's been 40 years since the first game was released. So let's talk about it. Ko Shibusawa won the, the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award. Hayasan, what do you think about it? Being a creator for 40 years is such an achievement. And and today, there's uh, Nobunaga's ambition, Shinsei, this is the 40th anniversary game. He continues to try new things. As he said, he talks about the future. He wants to deliver the games to the people going forward. And I want him to be creator as long as possible. I think you understand Ijuin san He is a legend. However, he is very kind and soft. And the personality is another reason why he is respected. Within the industry, there are so many fans of Ko Shibusawa. When I was a junior high school student, and the, P the PC was the microcomputer, and uh, it was a cassette tape. That was how I played the ga game. And uh, that he was copying a cassette tape to deliver the, the game. We did not have the uh, the game shop, but uh, every time fan looks at the red cas cassette, it was really the symbol of the great games, and people like them. And he is also a gamer. He plays a lot of games created by other creators. Actually, I was reading an interview article, article and uh, he played uh, uh, the, the, the Legend of Tsushima, and he played uh, uh, the cyberpunk for so many hours. So he loves the game so much, and that is reflected in his work. This is something very unique, and he, con he has continued to do so. So he plays the game of the, his company, and even if the game is in the last phase, and if he doesn't like it, he does not hesitate to postpone the release date. So he's passionate, he's calm, and he is really into the games. You know, he can be the main character of NHK's um, the, the historic dra uh, TV drama. So he could be the main character of drama himself. Yes, he has been creating uh, um, the, the, the simulation game for the history. He has made uh, so much achievement. Thank you. He was the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Award. Next, we are going to announce Global Award for Japan Game Awards 2021. The Global Award will be presented to most highly appraised Japanese and foreign games that were released to overseas from January to December 2020. Now we are going to announce Global Award for Japanese product. Is you in some please? Yes. Now let me announce. 
Japan Game Awards 2021 Global Award Japanese Product Goes to Animal Crossing New Horizons by Nintendo. Congratulations. So the, we have received the comments from Nintendo, so let me read the comments on their behalf. Last year, we have won Grand Award, Award for Excellence, and our development team won the uh, award from the Minister of Economy, Trade, and Industry. And this year, we have received Global Award, Japanese product. We are honored. Animal Crossing is designed so that people can enjoy the alternative life and communication. In a gaming world, you see a number of cultural events and items. Uh, we received this kind of award. That is because so many players across the world enjoy this game. So we would like to appreciate all the players going forward through the games. Uh, we want the smiles all around the world. We will continue to work very hard. So this is the comment from Nintendo. So this game has been um, um, played and this game relaxed uh, so many players. Yes, we need to stay home under the pandemic. It was kind of the only way to relax. Um, I have a radio program and I talk to small children and some children know so many names of the animals and many children said they learned from this game, Animal Crossing. Yes, this is very detailed game. So once again, congratulations. Next, we are going to announce Global Award for Foreign Products. Let me announce Japan Game Awards 2021 Global Award Foreign Product goes to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War by Activision Treyarch Raven Software. Congratulations. From Troy Arc Studio, uh, we have a, a message from Dan Bunting. We have a video Hello, message. I'm Dan Bunting, co studio head at Treyarch. And being nominated for the International Game Award is an honor, but to win it is humbling. On behalf of everyone at Treyarch and Raven, we'd like to express our gratitude for this award. We would also like to acknowledge the hard work and contributions of High Moon Studios, Beanox, Sledgehammer Games, as well as our partners at Activision for helping to make Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War reach its fullest potential. Additionally, thank you to the community of Japanese players. We are grateful for your support, and it inspires us to continue working hard to make awesome games for the world to enjoy. Thank you. So uh, thank you for watching uh, video comments about Call of Duty. A uh, new one is going to be released in November. So it, this game has uh, so much potential. So this foreign product, Global Award, and Japanese product, they are totally different games, but uh, the game is kind of the universal language. And this is great. So in the future, when people look back, you know, people may think about the uh, Call of Duty and Animal Crossing, and people may remember that as a universal language, and you can communicate with the people overseas. Yes, because of the remote setting, um, people really liked it and this game has become popular so you know something like could be a, a universal language and that could be represented by the city in the call of duty specific items and in animal crossing so that kind of communication can happen because of the games and that makes me very happy congratulations that was the global award Next, we are going to announce Best Sales Award for Japan Best Game Sales Awards 2021. Best Sales Awards are to be given to top
titles that are most sold in Japan for a certain period. Idui san, please. Japan Game Awards 2021 Best Sales Award goes to Momotaro Dendetsu, Showa Heisei Leiwamo Teiban by Konami Digital Entertainment. Congratulations. So on behalf of the award winner, we have received a video letter from Okamura-san. Hello everyone, my name is Okamura from Konami. Thank you for giving us this honored award. Sakuma Akira, General Director, and the team on behalf of them, I want to send this message. As Best Sales Award, our title was sold for more than 3 million copies. We really appreciate that so many people played our game. So we always, uh, we often discuss why this has been so well received. Uh, of course, there is a stay-at-home consumption and the uh, good sales of Switch, but what we also find a char characteristic about Momo Taro Dentetsu is that, especially when I'm watching streaming, is that people's smiles, people seem very much be enjoying playing the games, even when they are hit by King Bombi. I think that is something very unique about Momotetsu, and which means that the game really fits with the times, which led to the best sales. Thank you again for this award, and we will continue to working hard. This is also a historic historical title that has been awarded. Well, you know, the history repeats. We also learned a lot of um, names of locations and stations from Momotetsu. For example, where is a Yubeshimochi? And someone who doesn't know Yubeshimochi but learned that from the game and wants to eat that, maybe after the COVID 19 is ended, when the treatment is uh, developed, when people can travel again. The children can go to some local region, local area to eat the food that, that they learned from the game. That is a, actually a very interesting experience. And so Momotetsu, the number of copies in since uh, November 19th, 2020, till June the 15th of this year, I sold more than 3 million copies. That is really incredible. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, so many copies have been sold. And this game can be enjoyed with parents, with friends. It's a game for everybody from young to old. I cannot find anyone who does not like this game. So again, congratulations. So that was Global Award and a Best Sales Award. And Nishioka-san, so many different games. Those three games are all very different. The title awarded was the Best Sales, and Amino Crossing was um, sold worldwide for 33 million copies. For Call of Duty and Black Ops, there were a lot of fans for that series. And the campaign mode came back. There's also a zombie mode and there's a multiplayer mode. I think that contributed to the popularity. And there's also a lot of uh, downloaded contents came up with, together with the new elements that really make the, fun, make the fans enjoy the games. And for Momotetsu, which sold for more than 3 million, it must require a lot of new fans, otherwise that's impossible. So as Okamura-san said that the people were really enjoying that game and it is not something that you can just enjoy by watching 
the game streaming, you can, you need to actually to play that game to experience it. And every one, every each of the card, it makes people happy. It brings out people's smiles. And I think they are all well thought through. And there is a, a poop card um, and attacked by King Bombi and adults were blew away by farts. So that's really, you know, funny scenes in that game. It's a board game, and there are a lot of board games, but the purpose is to bring out people's smiles when it comes to this game. That is a different perspective, but that, that is also very essential. And personally, I'm really happy that Momotetsu came back. And for children, it's their first experience playing Momotetsu. So, you know, parents can enjoy teaching their kids to play those cards. I think that was also a very good experience. And you also struggle with new cards cars because you don't know. Yes, it is a very fun game. Global award, best sales award were just announced. Now we are going to so announce the last part of the first half, uh, Game Designers Award. Game Designers Award is given to the origi original and creative the game judged by nine uh, top creators of Japan and it's evaluated based on creativity and originality. The details and uh, announcement will be made by Masahiro Sakurai, the head of selection committee. Please watch the video. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora. Let me start. First of all, let me introduce the judges. Each judge has 10 points, and they can give 10 points based on uh, originality. And the uh, top games go to, go to the second round of the vote. And of them, the game with the, uh, the highest points win the award. I would like to introduce three games that went to the second round of the vote. First, it takes two, the co-op mode by two players. This is an action game. Uh, you can invite friends for free of charge. With the offline, you can split the screen. Second one, Ghost of Tsushima, high quality game developed overseas. Did you go to Iki Islands? It has the uh, concept of honor and that uh, really have an uh, impact in weather on weathers. And the uh, next one is Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. This is an action game and you can uh, produce rice. If you do good with the rice production, uh, it can enhance the skills of the main character. So these are the very good three games, but uh, we have the, the, the game who won the award. I would like to give you a clue what kind of game uh, it is. So first of all, this is original. No one has played a game like this. However, the game is known by almost everybody. So I think this is the victory of the technological capability. Can you guess who is the award? Looking at the comments and some of you correctly guessed the comment. Oh, I'm joking because this is the recorded video. Anyways, now let me announce Game Designers Award. Japan Game Awards 2021 Game Designers Award goes to Mario Kart Live Home Circuit by Nintendo. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit by Nintendo. 
マリオカートライブホームサーキット。えー、マリオカートライブホームサーキットです。So, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, you will be、uh, playing this、uh, radio controlled cart. You see the, ca the camera is equipped in the cart, and、uh, the camera is showing the course, and that's how you play the game. So, the radio controlled cart with camera existed in the 1980s. However, what is different about this game is that、uh, AR technology is used. To run the real course. You may have no idea what I'm talking about, so I want to show you what I mean by that. So let me play. So, this is first of all what you need. So, when you purchase the game, the game comes with the, these gates and you locate the gates. This is the first one, one by one, second one, third one. And fourth one, and this arrow and place it, and that could be a good sign. Now you need a card and, and put it in front of gate one. First, you want to create a course, that is the first step. So the lucky two have the paints. On the tires, and with the tire, and that will create the course. So we can go round and go through the gates, and that will actually be the course. So you should go through the gates from one, two, three, and four, and when you Uh, make a circle, and that is the course. And now, course is ready, and with the AR technology, you can play with it. So, this is a test course, but actually, this is not this is not the end. We have some course that is more interesting, and this is it. In a meeting room of my company, CESA, we have the course. People from CESA came up with this. Every day we have、um, we have this meeting room and it's just boring. But today it looks like a party room. So、uh, let me play. Now course is ready.、Uh, this is the meeting room of company CESA. So Mario Kart hold Mario Kart home circuit. Maybe some of you are struggling because the the. Ordinary room is too small, but today I am in a big、uh, meeting room, and you can see、uh, a lot of tricks. And it, it's real. You can you can jump, and can I go through the color balls? I guess yes. And it's a bumpy road, and and the controller is actually vibrating. And so it is really a comfortable、uh, eight shaped course. And some of the items are associated with the CESA.、Uh, can I use the items? I will do that. And there are a person. And I went through Bumpy Road. And, and you may、uh, you may notice、uh, some、uh, the, the the banner or signage saying the Japan Game Awards 2021. So we have now the、uh, the opponents. Well, competitors. So a small Kupa. Uh, competitors, so it looks like a, a hovering vehicle rather than、uh, carts. It is AR, but、uh, there are a lot of reactions. So if I get hit, I lose kind of control. So if I hit、uh, the wall, and that is a huge damage because it is actually physical objects. I lost my control. In a, uh, just an ordinary Mario Kart,、uh, there's no problem、uh, going back to the course, but it is very hard. 
So uh, you can try a lot of uh, driving techniques. So uh, maybe I should not try uh, that I'm not good at. In a, a Mario Kart, you know, the competitor is really uh, nice to us, but uh, they are very hard on me. So this is it. So using uh, AR technology, you can enjoy the game. And we have the video message from the winner. Matsunaga from Nintendo. Thank you for giving us the great award. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is a joint work by Veran Studio and a hardware and software team of Nintendo. A with a physical card and game screen is integrated. In order to make it happen among the teams, we had a lot of discussions, explored the best solutions, and here we are. After the launch, a lot of users gave us a great feedbacks, and many players are very creative making a course. So we have received this award. Uh, we would like to continue to drive our path going forward. So we want the players to uh, play this game for Hello, a very long everyone. time. My name is Kartik Bala of Valence Studios in New York. Thank you very much for awarding Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, the Game Designer Prize of the Japan Game Awards. Mario Kart Live was Valence Studios' debut title and represented a three-year journey in developing this unique kind of game experience. It would not have been possible without the dedication and passion of the team at Valence Studios and the amazing collaboration with Nintendo. On behalf of the teams, thank you for this great honor. Hi. So this was Game Designers Award. It says Game Designers Award, but uh, if you are famous, you are at the better positions. However, when it comes to Mario Kart Live, at the beginning of the uh, selection process, many judges were not really thinking about it. But um, along the selection process, they have realized how good the game is. So you can have a creative game, but uh, the game has to be known by many people. Uh, this award is not really about the popular vote. We really appreciate uh, different uh, perspective and the values. Thank you. Okay, so Mr. Sakurai created the course. Uh, in that sense, it was very valuable video. If Sakurai-san is serious, he can come up with something very special. Okay, Game Designers Award went to Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. So it was announcement of the Game Designers Award. So it's been 30 35 years since the uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers. So Mario Kart Live Home Circuit won the award. Hayasan, how did you think about it? Yes, so you are playing with uh, uh, physical reality, but it is integrated with the game. And that idea is translated into the product. That is what makes Nintendo great. There are, there are not so many, or actually Nintendo could be only company who can make it happen. And actually the game is fun. And our children wants to play it and it's really intuitive. So that is what the product is about. And they are really expanding the possibility of what game can do. And with this potential and possibility, uh, I really hope that the game will become more fun and fun. 10 years ago, um, we would not have imagined this kind of the thing. This is really the combination of the great technologies. So it was not just a showcase of the technologies. You know, you know, with the price 
price is great and uh, this is really complete product. They used AR technology, so it was not possible 10 years ago. In a sense, uh, I, I cannot wait what's coming in the future. So, Nishoka-san, so, you know, it's like, it, this game is like a, a wolf, but uh, at the glance, it looks like a sheep, I would say. So I really thank Nintendo to come up with a game like this, and this can evolve, and this can be inspiring other games. Uh, he once said that it took three years to develop it, but uh, also, yes, I, I'm looking forward to what's coming in the future. Maybe creators will co come up with the, something great. So it's not only about technology. So if it's in a room, you can physically look at the card. But uh, what's going to happen when the card is on the next room? And, you know, they don't know how I will look like. Well, what clothes I am wearing. So when there was no technology, I can physically help it. So this game has a great potential. So it is uh, fun in terms of analog, but it is combined by the state-of-the-art technology. Yes, I look, I look forward to the, the, the games in the future. Yes, that would be a great combination. So I, I test play the game, but uh, I want to play it again. And I want to make a very creative and special course. What is good about uh, this game is that uh, I, I have to clean my room first. Otherwise, I cannot uh, create my course. So, um, so uh, my colleague, so, so he is, so he is uh, putting uh, um, the, 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 the cola bottle on very unbalanced location. So some people are very creative to make a hard, hard course. So looking back, what did you think about these games? So uh, diverse games, different kinds of the games. Yes, and we have covered pretty much what we have to cover, we are supposed to cover. Yes, Momotetsu has sold 3 million, Animal Crossing has been very popular uh, overseas as well. So that was the good reminder of that. Nishioka-san, what do you think? Well, Kou Shibusawa I made a strong impact. So uh, I played uh, Nobunaga's ambition and, uh, and the romance of the three kingdoms. So I have a very good memory. So first, Nobunaga's ambition, it was like a magic. You know, the, the PC. 8801, you know, uh, we couldn't really imagine what kind of the program they uh, they come up with. Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, for middle-aged men, uh, we can talk about this kind of game. And this is the history. And he is still creating a great games. You know, we can play you know, history of the games. And it is now almost culture, looking at the games, Mario Kart, Momotetsu, Kou Shibusawa, Animal Crossing. They are all producing history. So we have more games that have been played for a, such a long time. And they are played for a long time, and they are second generation, third generation. So it is great that the, the players have come with the, uh, uh, these games. So we have two awards left, Award for Excellence and a Grand Award. Nishioka-san, I can't wait. What's your expectation? Well, there were really good games to be, that were released, including indie games, lots of trending ones. And these may become the lineup for the next award for excellence. 
And I'm really curious to know who won the grand award. And if you have any titles that you are endorsing, please write it down in the comment. And I think it's, it will be quite interesting if you predict who is going to win. And during the announcement, maybe you suddenly remember a title that was this award, something that was very popular, but that wasn't chosen for the award. Maybe something that was released in the beginning of the year and the people forgot about it. You know, that that's also fun. So we're going to announce very soon the Award for Excellence and the Grand Award. So we start with Award for Excellence, which will be given to excellent titles that can present represent the year. And out of 10 titles, we are going to announce a grand award. And the announcement for Award for Excellence will be in the order of the release date. Ijui-san, over to you. So, Award for Excellence went to 10 titles. I'm going to start with the first one. Japan Game Awards 2021. The first Award for Excellence went to Resident Evil 3 by Capcom. Congratulations. So we have uh, Kyohiko Sakata, the director of Redworks, and uh, Masashika Kawata, the producer of Kapakon, who sent us a, a video message. I'm Sakata, the director of Resident Evil 3. Uh, we are very honored to receive Award for Excellence of Games of the Year Japan Game Awards 2021. Thank you very much. We are very happy that the game was played by many users and fans, and I feel that is the result uh, for this award. I'm producer of Resident Evil 3, my name is uh, Kawata. So this, we included online Resident Evil resistance into the package as well, which was very challenging. And we are very happy together with the staff for having received this award. Thank you very much. Resident Evil 3, it was a very high quality remake and it was also trending a lot. You know, remake, we often idealize a game that we know very well. And even if it was an immature CG back then, but in my head, it's something really good. And I have to fight with that image. The remake has to fight with that image. So that is a very, hard battle and from users we are going to, we picked up some comments from the users who voted for award for excellence and thank you very much for your votes now let's move on to the second award for excellence, Ijui-san. Japan Game Award 2021, the second award for excellence went to Final Fantasy VII Remake by Square Enix. Congratulations. So we have uh, the producer, Yoshinori Kitase, producer of Final Fantasy VII Remake, for a video message. So my name is Yoshinori Kitase, producer of Final Fantasy VII. Thank you for giving us the award for excellence. We are very honored. And uh, with this award, we have received the comments from a wide age 
range from elementary school student and a 67-year-old person. And the concept for this title is to create something new and nostalgic at the same time. So we want to create something that can be enjoyed by old fans who are familiar with this, as well as the new fans. And we are happy that we achieved that goal. The world of Final Fantasy VII has just started. It's going to expand. It will have more new development. So stay tuned. Yeah, that is another remake title. And after such a long time, this beautiful graphics were remade. And I think that's something really beneficial for the fans. I played this game to the end. I couldn't stop because it was so fun. It really speaks to what is a remake in the new era. I want you to ask comments from our guests as well. I will go back to that. But anyway, congratulations. It was a fantastic game. Now we are going to announce the third award for excellence. The third award for excellence goes to The Last of Us Part 2 by Sony Interactive Entertainment. So we have a video letter by Hart Margino, the co-director of the title. Hi, we want to thank the Japan Awards for giving Naidog the award for excellence for 2021 for The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, it means a lot to us. It's really exciting that the game resonated so well with the Japanese audience. Uh, so from everyone here, arigatou gozaimasu. So the story of this title, and there is a very surprising development in the story. I played one and the two I haven't played, but I heard about the reputation. I was really impressed by one. So I don't know if the two can exceed one, but the two has been highly regarded by the fans. So I really want to play it as soon as possible. Congratulations. So all right, uh, we have announced uh, the Award for Excellence for three titles. And I'm going to ask Hayashi san as we look back, what do you think so far? Well, as I said a little bit before, Resident Evil and the Final Fantasy VII Remake, they have to remake those works to be in line with the current era. They have to review everything and to recreate. So it's not just a remake. It has to be a new title at the same time. So that's something fantastic. And we will feel nostalgic, and we will also feel novelty from the games at the same time. And those games also attracted new users in addition to satisfying old users. And that's what's great about these titles. And for Last of Us, it makes it really makes you scared the scenario actually the scenario was controversial but it means that it's something really uh, thoroughly made and too, it's so good that the opinions were divided and it was uh, the second title of a huge IP. So I personally really love that game. When I played Resident Evil, I thought when we encountered the first Resident Evil in PS1, considering the, the processing speed back then, and when you open the door in the game and the feeding you got, in terms of, uh, you know, the speed was enough to not to have a lag, but it is uh, more uh, scary to have that. So they 
they thought about that. And for people who played it for the first time, they don't feel nostalgic. So it is very difficult to satisfy old users and the new users at the same time. And the developers understand well that it's not just about improving the graphics. So Nishioka-san, what do you think so far? Well, I think the discussion applies for the Final Fantasy VII as well. Well, you know, the Final Fantasy VII, the original one, was the base for the remake, and everybody had a good time, and everybody was impressed, and the remake came out of that. So that is really intense, and I think they did a good job. And I really want to know when the next one will come up. It's not finished yet. Yeah, we want to see great things, but how long is it going to take? I actually compared the remake with the old one when I was playing the latest one. I recall some scenes, but I remember it wasn't this pretty, this beautiful. So what was the old scene? I really wanted to go back to see it again. That's kind of uh, strange, you know? <laughs> and I thought that I really want to stay healthy and live long so I can wait till the next game comes out. All right, so we introduced the three titles so far. Next, we are going to announce the fourth award for excellence. Ijui san please. Let us resume the announcement of the Award for Excellence. Japan Game Awards 2021, the fourth game for Award for Excellence, Ghost of Tsushima by Sony Interactive Entertainment. So here it is. Sucker Punch Productions Art Creative Director Jason Kano has given us the video letter. Please watch. Thank you so much for this honor from the Japan Game Awards. When we set out to make this game, we wanted to transport players back to feudal Japan. And in doing research, we learned so much about the location and the time period. But we couldn't have done it without the passionate help from our partners in Japan and the extremely patient guidance of experts in the field. It was through their help that we crafted everything from the story to the gameplay to the art. Again, thank you so much for this recognition. It really fills our hearts with joy to know that our players in Japan have enjoyed the experience. Thank you. Okay, so, so the Tsushima in Kamakura era is the, uh, uh, the location and the time of the game. So the, it was developed overseas and they were showing a great respect to Japan. And one, the travel agency's website, uh, consumers, asked, consumers were asked, asked after the COVID, where do you want to go? And all of a sudden, people want to go to Tsushima. If you do not know the, the ghost of Tsushima, you don't know why Tsushima made it to the ranking, but uh, because of the game, so many people want to go to Tsushima. People in Europe and people in the US before this game, maybe not many people knew about Tsushima. But uh, now we are seeing the biggest difference. I was really into it. I got uh, all of the uh, uh, the, 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 the grass, the, the, the locust. And I was collecting a lot of insects. OK, so it was a very good, mo big, mo big uh, movement of the game. So the fifth game, Ijui san, please announce. Let me announce. Japan Game Awards 2021. The fifth award for excellence goes to Genshin Impact by Mihoyo. So we have Liu Wei um, from Mihoyo, and he has given us a video message. Uh, 
《原神》是一款开放世界的 RPG 游戏。在二零一七年的时候，我们做了一个呃，听上去有些大胆且疯狂的想法，就是在移动端上去实现开放世界的游戏体验。去年九月，《原神》正式公测，呃，受到了全球玩家的关注，其中也深受日本玩家喜爱。嗯、呃，今年的七月末，我们上线了《原神》的二点零版本，嗯、呃，开放了全新地区，到期啊。引起了玩家朋友的热烈讨论啊！而在不久前，《原神》也迎来了一周年啊！呃，在此，我想对所有相信并支持我们的玩家说声感谢，是你们一路的相伴，给了我们前进的动力啊！在今后的日子里，我们还会持续推出呃优秀且超出大家预期的游戏内容，也希望越来越多的玩家能够感受到《原神》的魅力啊！谢谢。So this is another open world game. So, so the momentum of the mobile game from China is enormous. So I haven't played the Genshin Impact yet, but、uh, what smartphone can do is remarkable. I cannot really catch up. So the games released by China. Have been imported to, imported to Japan so so much, so the momentum is great. So it is very difficult to select award for excellence. We have to look at the platform, game style. They are so different. No, nominated products are really diverse. So Genshin Impact received the award for excellence. This is another、uh, characteristic of、uh, the the world.、Uh, That we are living today. So the sixth game for award for excellence. Yes, let me announce Japan Game Awards 2021. Sixth award for excellence goes to Sakuna of Rice and Ruin by Marvelous. Congratulations. So,、uh, a representative from Edelweiss,、uh, Naru, has given us a video message. Thank you for giving us the award for excellence. After we have launched the game, we have been surprised by many things, but the biggest surprise is the、uh, how. Users have demonstrated their receptivity, so people are really serious about rice production, and people and players have been preparing the menu as if they are actually eating them, and they are crying and smiling over the story. Rice production is the theme of the game, which is unusual. So, because of the the players, players wanting to have fun. Um, this game was so much accepted, and we have received the award. Thank you for enjoying the game. I am Naru from Edelweiss. So, about this game, I think so many audience have been waiting for this game. There are a lot of core fans. I'm looking at the comments from the users. Uh, there's one comment from 70 year old male. Well, he says the、uh, he is a rice farmer and he is interested. What is great about this is that you know when you try to mix idea、uh, the game, maybe actual farmers have different experience and feedback. Let's say that there's a game to go on a diet, and if you are actually on a diet, you may not be comfortable with. What is in the game, but the, this game has been garnering the support from actual farmers. So I have been doing this MC for the event for a long time. There are the franchise and the series of the games and remake of the games are great, but this game is not the second one or third one. And I have said the company name for the first time, and this game is so popular. That means. The future of the gaming industry is so bright. Once again, congratulations!、Uh, we have announced six games that received award for excellence. 
So, Nishoka san, what do you think about these games? Well, Ijuin san said it well. So, th these are the original games and they are highly acclaimed. So, if we categorize them, and they are associated with Japan, so Tsushima as well. So the Genshin Impact have a lot of characters uh, that are loved by Japan. Uh, the Sakuna of Rice and Ruin is about rice production, which is the main diet of Japan. So in one sense, uh, they are all associated with Japan. So for the people in the game media industry, you know, you have, do you have a responsibility? Do you feel the responsibility that you have to you are supposed to introduce the new game for everyone. That is a very important perspective. When we look at the original game for the first time, I try not to categorize the game in traditional way. You know, I try not to say this is like some other games. So when there's an original game, I try to feel uh, originality of the game. So this game is new to everyone. And if you are interested and in, you know, you are in the media industry and you make an article and the article may be popular and that leads to the popularity of the game. How do you think? That is what I what we want to see. But uh, I am the user. I'm a gamer, so I, I, I'm happy to introduce the games that are popular among the gamers. So if you are in the media, um, you don't know which games is popular, but uh, you can really recommend the games just because you like it. That is the what is good about working for the media industry. And so I would say I make small portion of the contribution for the game to be a popular, and that is really the good part of working for media industry. So it's so this game has to be popular, and I am confident. So whatever the advertisement, how famous the game is, it doesn't matter. If the user gets to know about this and play it, and this has to be popular. So in that perspective, you have the fair perspective. So, you know, the series of the games remake uh, live up to the expectation. On the other hand, we have brand new title and we have all kinds of the games in Award for Excellence, and that is great. Yes, we have uh, given award for so many games. Next, we're going to announce the seventh award for excellence. Ijui san, please. Ten trophies. We have only three titles to go. So let's go. Japan Game Awards 2021, the seventh award for excellence is Momotaro Dentetsu Showa Heisei Lewa Moteba by Konami Digital Entertainment. Congratulations. So we have uh, the producer Okamura-san for Konami Digital Entertainment, a video message from him. Hello again. Thank you for giving us this award. So about the Momotetsu, it is uh, well made and in team, especially about the UI and other elements, we tried a lot of new things with new ideas. And as a result, we could, we made something that is uh, more similar to the old one. And we learned a lot from Sak Mr. Sakuma. And one of the things he always said is that it's easy to change, but it is important to have the courage to not to change. 
And I believe that is really true for this title. And of course, we had some changes. We renewed the character designs. And actually, I was really nervous, really scared. And I consulted with Sakuma-san. And he said, it's fine. And he's really consistent and unwavering about his ideas. So being unwavering, being consistent is also important, I think. So again, thank you very much for this honored award, and we will continue to build on. So followed by Best Sales Award, this title also won the award for excellence. When I heard the character design were going to be renewed, what did you think? The Bombies, I was really surprised by that. I didn't expect it. I thought it's going to fail. So this was something people have been waiting for. And finally, here it is. And, and people were ex expecting uh, the characters from the, the games in the past. And people may have been worried that the games will be changed drastically. Yes, I was worried as well, but uh, it was not the case that the game was great. Game is great. Thank you. So the, the ace game that are receiving the award for excellence, Ijui-san, please. We have three games. So if you are guessing which game is going to win, so Japan Game Awards 2021, the ace game who that are receiving uh, the get award for excellence, Buddy Mission Bond by Nintendo. So from Tomoko Nakayama from Nintendo and producer of Koei Tecmo, Erikawa san have given a video message this is nakayama from nintendo thank you very much for giving us this award buddy mission bond is an adventure game that focuses on creating building uh, human relationships including detailed psychological portrait of the characters and bonding with friends and the personality of the characters are going to be the key for winning the game. For the development, we had a lot of trial and errors, and we also exchanged ideas with the staff members, and everybody was very passionate towards the completion of the goal. We were very surprised to hear that we won the award, but I believe that is thanks to the support of our fans. Thank you very much. This is Erikawa from Koe Ekmo Games. And thank you very much for this honorable award. So Buddy Mission Bond, Lady Party brand, brand that is for men and it is a new type of adventure game for a wide age group. That is what we aim for. Five years have passed with Bound as a theme. We try to aim for a game that is playable by everyone. And after the launch through SNS, we received lots of comments, positive comments, and that really encouraged us and led to this award. Character designs, Mr. Tanaka and other stakeholders and the fans who always support the Body Mission Bond, thank you very much for your contribution and dedication. So Body Mission Bond, it has a different atmosphere and is very humane. And I think it's more of a game for women. And there were a lot of uh, attractive uh, male voice actors. 
who are very popular among women. So to be honest, I'm very new to this title, but as mentioned, there were a lot of votes from women players, and there were a lot of core fans, but that is not enough to be in to become one of the winner for award for excellence. So, and usually when I play the titles that won this award, usually I'm not betrayed. It lives up to my expectation. I know that it's supported by women. It has a very popular, it uses the popular voice actors, but I think that is not everything of this game. I think that there's something more beyond that. and. It's such a pity for me that I didn't know this game before. All right, so we're going to announce the ninth word for excellence. Two titles to go. What is your guess? We're going to announce it. Japan Game Awards 2021. The ninth award for excellence goes to Uma Musume Pretty Darby by Psy Games. Congratulations. So, Uma Musume, I think a lot of people are surprised. From Psy Games, we have received a video message, and I'm going to read the message for you. Thank you very much for giving us a word for excellence of Japan Game Awards 2021. We're very honored to receive this game and I express my appreciation on behalf of our development team. And we also want to thank the players of the game from the bottom of my heart. In this world, we want the trainers to have a sense of achievement by achieving the goals and dreams together with Uma Musume. But to make that happen, we incorporated the real romance of horse racing and the reality of having Uma Musume there. We inve invested a lot of our emotion and passion into the development. Uma Musume Pretty Derby aims to having a feeling of real horse racing and the team is going to continue our dedication to deliver great games to our fans. Thank you again. With love to you, games, and horse racing. So that's the comment. And the famous horses were the models for this game, and I really respect it. And I feel the passion, the respect towards the horse racing is remarkable. It, has a, it was really popular, and everybody was talking about the Uma Musume, so I was kind of behind it. And this game shows the chemistry that happens, the chemical reaction that happens when you combine something new and old. And it combined a lot of uh, uh, gaming assets in the past. So for Uma Musume, it's by Side Games and it's a smartphone game. So they launched the two games that became blockbuster. So that itself is incredible. So congratulations again. We're going to announce the last award for excellence. Ijui-san, please. I think uh, some people may be surprised that this will be the last award for excellence, but I'm going to announce it. So Japan Game Awards 2021, the 10th award for excellence, 
goes to Monster Hunter Rise by Capcom. Congratulations. I think this title is really suitable for the last word for excellence. We have Tsujimoto san, the producer, and Ichinose san, the director, for some messages. So, my name is Tsujimoto. We, we, we won the award for excellence, and we are very happy to have received that. And thank you very much for voting. So, for the first time in a while, we launched a Monster Hunter that can be played on mobile phone in March this year. It's been played by many players. We are really grateful of that. And there will be more event quests to be available. So we really want this game to be played as long as possible. We will continue to work harder on Monster Hunter. So my name is Ichi Nose. Uh, we included uh, new actions by using wire bugs and uh, palamutes and in a seamless field to enhance your hunting experience. We would like to build on this award and deliver better experience to you continuously. So for this game, the players, you know, for people here, and then if you look around, I think a lot of people play this game thoroughly, and they always launch blockbuster games. That's incredible. They create great games, and they surprise people, and then they always raise the bars for themselves. And different than the past, when Japan Game Awards were just established, the developers uh, had a long interval until the, till the next title. But now they're getting really busy. They don't have time to rest. They have to prepare for the next launch. So the last award for excellence went to Monster Hunter. We finished announcement for all awards for excellence. So these four, the last four that we announced from four companies, what do you think about those games? Well, it was announced in the order of release date, but for uh, these four games, they are totally uh, different. And for Buddy Mission Bond, it's a Switch adventure game. Scenarios and the character were highly acclaimed. And it's a game that you must play to the end. A lot of people say that. And it's an original title. And it attracted a lot of uh, passionate uh, fans. And it, it also succeeded in an event it held recently. Mm. So the gold corridor, and they had track record so far. I think that served as a base for this success. And for Uma Musume, so for the first time in a while, I was really passionate playing that game. So of course, Uma Musume is Uma Musume itself, but my feeling of play really went back to what I experienced in the past, and I couldn't stop. It was really well-crafted, and the well-known horses were humanized, were personalized, and in it incorporated real-world stories in into the games. And it's been played by so many passionate fans, I think it really deserves this treatment. And for Monster Hunter Rise, when I play Rise, I feel so exhilarating to play this game. And it always evolves, it keeps evolving. And of course, it requires a player skills, but at the same time, you feel really exhilarating by playing the game. 
and you feel yourself getting smarter. So monster hunter, they keep evolving. That's remarkable. It just been announced, but we, I also look forward to their next title that is going to be released next year. So with the announcement of all the awards for excellence, do you think any title is missing? Any title that also deserves this award, but it is not included? Or any title that you thought it would be included, but it wasn't? Oh, I want to ask you that question. Or did, did you feel relieved to see some of the game titles? Anything is fine. Well, I'm really happy to see Buddy Mission Bond. Okay, so you thought it's going to be divided opinions for that. Yeah, I'm happy that it collected a lot of votes and garnered a lot of votes because, you know, people have to vote proactively. And I think a lot of people knew that title for the first time. And I think this award also serves as a trigger. And games are evolving that they can be enjoyed for such a long time. So even if you have played some genre, and even if uh, there were some games that you've never played, I think this award serves a good opportunity for you to try out different genres of games. So, Music games was not were not included this time, and the smart including smartphone rhythm games, the Project World that was released last year. What do you think of that? You know, what is tricky is about smartphone games, I don't know, but consumer console games, I think it is easier to attract votes. The image of Japan Game Awards is for console games, I think, and that included Uma Musume. So smartphone games and indie games. I th personally think it's going to be more interesting to have those uh, genres as well. VO hard and dedicated hard. Uh, maybe these titles will also be will also come onto board. Yes, yeah, Steam as well. And, you know, I also look forward to next year's awards. So out of these 10 games that have received awards for excellence, we are announcing the Grand Award. So these are the 10 games. So for all the viewers, maybe you are excited to see which one has won the Grand Award. So Ijuin san, please make an announcement. Yes. Uh, which one game uh, did it win the award? Let me announce the Grand Award. Japan Game Awards 2021 Grand Award goes to actually two games Ghost of Tsushima and Monster Hunter Rise. Two games have received the Grand Awards. Japan Game Awards 2021 Grand Awards are given to Ghost of Tsushima and Monster Hunter Rise. So these are the two games that really represent this year. We couldn't really make a judgment. This is the first time the two games won the award since 2014. So let's talk about Ghost of Tsushima first. Hayasan, what do you think? Personally, uh, so this game was the most memorable game out of all the games I played last year. 
So you can enjoy the scenery and landscape, but you continue to ask, what is the、uh, the man's honor? You know, you have to think through what is the honor. That was the great experience. I and I I had never done such ex, such experience. There's a new version. If you haven't played it, you have to play it. Please play it. Ijuin-san, you play this game a lot, right? Yes. So this is smart. So the wind is blowing, and there's a destination, and you follow the fox, and there are. Uh, the the small、uh, the house or building you want to, I mean they could have just used the arrow, but、uh, it is about the presentation. Yes, there's a photo board, and I just want to take a picture along the along the game, and you don't you don't see such a game a lot. And this is Tsushima, which is in Japan, and this is a great location. This was the first time. That I was taught that there's a, such a great location in Japan. As you said, you know, sunset in a game,、uh, su the, the moon in a game, it is in a game, but、uh, it makes you cry. You want to, you want to play, but、uh, sometimes you want to just stop to look around. Yes, I don't know why, but、uh, I just want to stop walking in a game so I can、uh, check the landscape. So, yes, there are a lot of tricks and some twists, and you want to really explore the world. So,、uh, I played the、uh, Legend of Zelda. And I had the same feeling. There are some house you that that caught that caught your eyes, and you want to go, and you are kind of confident. If you go there, there must be something. And if you find something, and you feel the sense of achievement. The impressive one is the you know about the characters. You know the the character is characters in the game are not just the cool, not just the cute. So you know the female character in the game,、uh, you start to like her. Only you know, well, you can make the the girl character just、uh, cuter and cuter and just、uh, beautiful on the surface. But、uh, I don't know why. But、uh, you continue to like the game.、Uh, the, you continue to like the、uh, the character, and、uh, some character look like uh, um, some、uh, some famous people like Koji Uehara. So for Monster Hunter Rise, the director Ichinose-san, and he engaged in the previous title too.、Uh, he engaged in portable side too. Has a Japanese taste, and he created a very、uh, playable game. It's casual. It's easy to play, and the adjustment of the weapons are dynamic. But every weapon is strong and powerful, and dazzling. So when you play Monster Hunters, old or new, you can all get excited. And I heard, and I think that when hardware evolves and You know, when sometimes when the hardware evolves and they try to incorporate a lot of new things, but actually that just makes the game experience very heavy. So in that sense,、uh, Monster Hunter Rise is so easy to play. The balance of weapons and the adjustment of weapons are. Perfect in Monster Hunters, and it also incorporated new elements,、um, including the usage of wire bugs, etc. That's also that's so fun. That's very interesting for this game. So about Monster Hunter Rise, Hayashi-san, any comments? Well, Monster Hunter, sometimes there is.、Um, It feels like it's a hassle, but that's been reviewed. It's been enhanced, but maybe for some people they like that. 
And overall, I think uh, rice evolved into a more exhilarating game. So there were some inconvenience and some struggling part in that game before, but a lot of people honed their skill with those elements and it became uh, liking that game more. And so these elements are weaker in the new one, uh, which is a little bit, um, some people may miss it, but the for the newcomers, we want to believe that this is not a bad thing. It's a new start to expand the horizon, to attract new, new users and to enhance the game experience further. That's what I believe. So what do you think that true games won the Grand Award? For Ghost of Tsushima, I really agree with you, Ijui san And people who play wide range of games really enjoy the Ghost of Tsushima, which means that the quality of the game is great. For most Hunter Rise, since the release date people just started playing the games and spent so much time invested a lot of time in playing that game since day one and people were people cannot wait for the release of the new title you you feel that enthusiasm from the fans just to look back for all the awards this time, I think there were a couple of titles that deserve a grand award. Well, I think it, it has, uh, it, it is more diversified than usual years. And I think it's a very uh, balanced. There were new challenges by the developers, and the, those new challenges have been highly regarded by the users, and that led to these awards. I see that result. And to repeat what I said in the beginning, there are remakes. I think these awards may change, may have changed what people think of remakes. So those titles do not end in one generation. It is passed on to the next generation. And they are delivering good results. The original works account for most of the awards this time. But as Nishioka-san said, remake the remake titles, how to make old titles new. The creators have answered that question well. Monster Hunters, Resident Evil, or series, they recreate the series, even for Final Fantasy VII Remake and Resident Evil 3. They also combined uh, their old elements into the remake. So that is also one way to do it. So I think they have thought through and really crafted work to make it fitting with the current time. And I think it connects to what Shibusawa-san said. And Shibusawa-san now have people who have played his games. Those people are now creating games under him. Exactly, the new generation, the players and the creators, we really need to have the new generations. So we're getting close to the end. What is your expectation for next year? We, we are playing the games that won grand awards and other awards for next year. There will be more uh, new challenges and new titles. And under COVID-19, I think people have been helped by games. And I think that will remain the same. Maybe the game you are playing now 
the game you're into now is going to win a word next year. And I'd like to imagine that. I personally think I usually like original titles, and I really hope there will be more original titles to come out. And maybe depending on creators, we have been affected by COVID-19 pandemics for such a long time. And I think the ideas and, and the feelings of creators have also shifted compared to the beginning of the pandemic. Well, COVID is definitely not a topic we want to talk about now, but I think the, because of COVID, the trend, what kind of games would be trending changes. So maybe Dragon Quest, maybe after COVID, it's going to trend again. Or maybe when people can go out again, they want to combine uh, the fun of uh, the real world and the game world and the joy of connecting with people. I think there will be some uh, changes next year. Yes, maybe that is also true of the system of the games. For good or bad, we did new things. And I think that has been translated into games and it was uh, highly regarded by users and, and has been reported by media. So I look forward to next year's event and new games that are going to be released. So I read a lot of comments and I noticed that there are a lot of um, comments from overseas. We also had a title from China that won a word. So I really felt that we are creating connections around the world. Not only Japanese titles, we I expect to see more overseas titles to come on board. So with that, Japan Game Awards 2021 Games of the Year, the announcement program has come to an end. From tomorrow, 1 p.m. at the TGS official program, the Game creation contest for under 18 years old, under 18 division, the final will be held. Please stay tuned. So before we wrap up, I want to have some remarks from our guests. Let's start with Nishioka-san. So what did you think? Well, I, I think there are some people who haven't played the 10, all the 10 titles. There are trial versions as well. And I think it's a pity if you don't try it out, so please do. Hayashi-san, what do you think? I look forward to next year, of course, and the latter half of the year. I just recall that there were a lot of titles that will come out, so I really want to spend time in playing games. And actually, there is one announcement from me. This happens every year. Dengeki Online and the Famitsu and the Four Gamer, they uh, co-organized a special program for the game show media award 2021 and if you have any title that you are interested in uh, that you find fun from the game show uh, please post that on twitter with the hashtag and we're going to pick it up as well and ijui san how do you feel about this year? Well, every year I'm surprised, I feel happy and impressed. And when next year we hold this event again, maybe it's going to be a physical event, maybe it's going to be virtual like this year as well. Maybe it's going to be hybrid. I expect both. What do you think? Well, I saw lots of titles and smartphone uh, titles. Titles for smartphone was also given awards. And that was a surprise. And I look forward to see the breakdown of titles that will win award next year. Maybe there will be something really surprising something unknown. Yeah, stay tuned for next year's event as well. Thank you very much, Ijui-san, Nishioka-san, and Hayashi-san. And also, thank you very much for watching. 
and see you next year. Goodbye.